Welcome back to Out Loud with your girl, Claudia Jordan. I am joined by hip hop mogul, businessman, all of the above, actor, commercial pitch, pitch man. I see you do it all. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm so glad you're here. I haven't seen you in years. It's been- I, I know. know. It's, it's been a First and foremost, thanks for having me on. I'm sure this is- a great uh, forum that you have. I, I, I like it. It's just real dope. You know what I mean? I was listening to the last interview. I like the whole setup. I like the style. The flow of it was was nice. So congrats. I appreciate that. And I like what you've been doing too. You know what I like about you, John? I feel like we have this in common a little bit. People What's try that? to What's knock that? Uh, People stay trying to come for us. And knock <laughs> us down, and we'd be like, "Okay, yeah. cool, I see you," and come yeah, back with something good. else, right? I, I think you know. I think I like it like that. Uh, you know, um, it drives me to just to just keep working hard and keep 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 doing um, innovative and creative things. You know, um, that's 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 my new company too, uh, the Ice Corp. It's innovate, create, and entertain. So, okay. you know, I think um, you know sometimes when when you go through stuff, it, it just brings you to your next great thing. So here you are, here I am. And that's, that's, that's what it is, you know? But you, you always have a smile on your face. Like, I feel like it doesn't, for I don't sure. know, if, is it, is that, is that um, for us or does it ever get to you? Because, you know, it, we're, we are um, human underneath it all. Yeah, yeah, we all human, you know, but I think people don't really understand where I come from. Okay. You know, um, I come from the bottom. Like we 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 really we really didn't have much, you know. We we made do with what we had, mm -hmm. you know. And, and 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 most of the time, what we had was love mm -hmm. over everything else, you know. It wasn't much of anything else, but that, that's enough to get you a lot of places, you know. Um, I realized that as I, you know, started to become a man myself and, and have children of my own, you know, the the best thing that you can give somebody is love, and 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 hope and, and and you know that that feeling of i got your back i'm with you if, if if it all falls apart i'm your crutch that 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 feeling is is the best thing that you can you can give a person and i and that not for nothing i've had that you know throughout my life mm -hmm. and and my wife is a big uh uh you know she she's a big big part of that she she's been been my rock for a long long time i i've, I've been with this woman since junior high school, I've known and been with this woman. So, you know, it's been, it, yeah, it, it, so it's been, a, it's been a long time. She's always been there for me, even though through all my fuck ups and, mm -hmm. you know, my, my learning curve, you know, she, she helped me learn, you know what I mean? And, and, and love was a big part of that. So what would you say is the best thing about your wife and how did you know she was the one? You said you've been down with her since junior high school. Like, how'd you know? I mean, I don't think you know initially at first. You know, we mm -hmm. always like to say, you know, we knew. Yeah, we knew we was right for each other. Yeah. But I don't think you know initially. I think you grow into that. You know, I think you grow into knowing this person is the best person for me. You know, um, I think we all go through phases, you know, in life. And, and you, you you see things, you you know, things are attainable to you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and, and you learn that everything that's that's good to you might not be good for you. Right, right, you know, right. and so, so you know, I had learned that in a lot of ways, you know, through business, through, through, you know, just through my whole life experience, you know, learning a lot of different things and learning that everybody that you know come with you can't go with you, you know. That's so, right. so these lessons that you pick up along the way, they build you, and brick by brick, you know. And and now I'm 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 solid, you know. I'm, was that was that hard for you? Sorry to cut you off. Was was no, that I'm hard for you to, to to not? be able to bring everyone with you a lot of people that are successful to have survivors remorse especially you know you said you came from nothing you know and which is yeah. admirable right so do you ever feel that kind of guilt of or that pressure of not being able to bring everybody with you nah <laughs> <laughs> you're like i'm good you know nah i used to you know i used <laughs> to put that pressure on myself you mm -hmm. know um because you feel like, you know, when you come from the bottom, you come from a certain place that you, you know, you got to bring everybody with you. You got to, mm -hmm. you got to try to bring as many as you can, at least, you know, with you. And then, you know, along the way, you realize that everybody ain't really with you. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and so, so, you know, when I went to prison, 
it was it was easy for me to detach from a lot of people. Mm-hmm. It was easy for me to, you know, cut cut the cord, you know, trim the fat and all that other good shit. Because, you know, when you go behind that wall, you really get to see who's there for you, who's down for you, who, you know, who who's going to call your wife to make sure the kids is all right, make sure go stop by to see the little homies to make sure they all right, you know, who's sending the package, who's giving a call, who's accepting your call. All those little things matter, you know, who sends you a note. Those little things matter, you know? Were you surprised by anybody during that time? Were you like, damn, I really thought this person would come through and they didn't, or I didn't think oh, this person yeah. would come through and they really came through for me? Oh, yeah. A lot of a lot of people, you know, on both sides of that. Yeah. You know, um, people that, you know, I did a whole lot for throughout my career, you know, gave them money, took care of them, a lot of, you know, just out of the kindness of my heart, a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of things that, you know, I've done for people over the years and then you know for some of those people not to really you know show up and be there when i needed them was was a wake-up call for me you know um and then there were people that i barely you know had a chance to build a relationship like that with Mm -hmm. and they were solid you know really yeah so you know you know it's funny because friendship and family is always a conversation we like to have around this, this house you know because you know, we talk about, you know, family, you don't get to choose your family. So, you know, they're kind of giving, they're, they're kind of, you know, with you by default sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, but your friends, you get to pick your friends. And, and and those are the people who are usually closest to the, closest to the heart, closest to the shield, because you chose them to be with you. They chose you to be with them. You know, you have a thing, you have a bond that's, mm-hmm. that's beyond, you know, you just, you know, my brother or my sister, right. which that don't get me wrong, that's a bond too that's unbreakable, un- unbreakable. But you know what I mean? If you have siblings, I don't have any siblings, so I, I'm not going to speak to people with siblings, but I've seen it a lot in other people's. <laughs> in other you may, people's you may not have chose. Sisters and brothers. With yeah, family, and, and you and may not have chose some of those people. Your friends, right, right, your choice. Right. So, no, I, I like you, to get. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was say, I like to get people their flowers, you know what I mean? So I want to share with you some of the positive comments in the chat. Uh, Brian says, we got to give Ja his flowers for what he has done for music. L. Anderson says, he has so much humble, Ja has so much humbleness in his vibe, is so peaceful. And um, people are just, Nettie says, he hasn't aged not one wrinkle. <laughs> so um, people, they're showing you love and they want to see you out That's there. So up. speaking of seeing you out there, it's been a minute, yeah. well, more like a year since we've been able to have concerts and. Um, yeah. What, what do you miss about being, you know, pre, pre-COVID, pre pre-concert, I mean, pre, pre-lockdown? pre What do you miss? Is it stage, being on stage, performing, studio? Which is it? Yeah, I miss living, you know, just yeah. being outside and, and, you know, just being with your, your loved ones and your friends and, and stuff like that. You know, I barely get to see the homies and, and barely get to see, you know, your loved ones right now because of COVID, but I think we all needed this time, just a little bit of moment of clarity, you know, um, with social media and everything, I think, you know, people kind of, you know, get caught up in their own little world and their own little box and kind of forget about, you know, how, how precious it is to have that time to be able to go outside and, and, and go to a club or, you know, go to a, go to, shit, go to a restaurant and sit down and have dinner with your homies and your friends and your family. So, you know, I think people got a chance to really, you know, feel that, that, that sense of freedom being stripped from you, so to speak, you know, and, and when you go in on the inside, you really feel that, you know, it's a whole different type of strip of a freedom. But I, I, I can say that this is similar in some ways to, to being on the inside, you know, it's isolation, you know, and, and, and people were very isolated and had to find new ways to entertain themselves and, you know, virtual became a great way to do that and, and you know look you got this this show I don't know if you're doing this pre-COVID or, or before but you know I, I I know now that it's so easy now for you to do it mm-hmm. you know we can get on a Zoom you know we can, and do these type of shows and entertain yeah. each other and speak with each other and vibe with each other so you know I think a whole new world's been opened up because of COVID and a lot of uh, new businesses have been sprouted you know because of it and, and we'll get a lot of new innovation a lot of new technology because of it. So, Ja, um, sure. you got a lot of stuff going on. So you you turn your love of sports yeah. into an exciting ownership venture. What can you tell us about the, the New York Stars women's football team? 
Hey, so uh, the New York Stars uh, football team is a, a professional women's football organization that I am the owner of. I'm the proud owner of. And um, it's in a new league called the WFLA. And, um, you know, it's, we, we're starting our inaugural season in 2022 now. You know, we've been really, you know, pushing to make this thing right and get it right. And, and now everything's starting to come come full circle with that. You know, we've been talking to the right people and, you know, getting the right people involved. And, and now it's, it's looking like this thing is going to push forward and be a, a great, great opportunity for women and, and to get paid in, in, in a sport that they love and, and are very good at. So I can't wait to, you know, everybody witnesses what, what these women have to offer. So are they in sexy clothes? Because I remember years back, the lingerie bowl kind of <laughs> kicked it off. Yeah. I, I almost yeah. did it, but I was, then I saw some of them girls were hitting hella hard. I said, nah, I ain't trying to break. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> think you wanted to do that, Claudia. They, no. they, not, they not bullshit. They hit hard. Yeah, but no, this is not the lingerie league. This is real women's football. You know, okay. um, it, it will, it will have its own flavor to it, its own spin on it. You know, um, smaller ball, you know, so the women can really tuck it, throw it, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and it, it feels good like the men. Not not too much smaller, but, you know, it, it just women's hands are a little smaller. So we want them to have the same experience, you know, playing the sport as the men. So, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely going to um, implement a few little rules, changes here and there. That's going to complement the ladies. But it's, it's, it's an amazing uh, uh, sport. And I can't wait for people to, to put their eyes on it. I'm excited. But no about lingerie. It. They're, they're in full pads. But we 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 will um we um we are gonna alter their uniforms so it's it's for women, you know, so it, it fits the Who style and flavor of of the ladies. But we're not Who going sexist on them. We're not doing that. No. Okay, so if I see booty shorts, I can call you out then, right? No, you can call out the owner of the <laughs> lady who is also a woman. So you can get on her. <laughs> <laughs> Now, speaking of sports, you're a huge, I hear you're, you're, you're quite the golfer. You, you, you got skills? You, you got some skills with golf in there? Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been out there uh, getting my golf game together. I, you know, I'm actually going to do a, a classic. I'm going to do a, the Icon Celebrity Golf Classic. I'm trying to do it sometime in the summer, my first one. And we're going to play, we're going to play around the night golf, which is kind of new. To the scene but really really cool and, and fun so yeah but I, I i get my i get my i get my swing on i get my thing on out there on the cross i'm all right <laughs> listen that's one of the things i miss most is is about the, the the quarantine and covid happening i miss getting invited to all the golf tournaments but i play a little a little a little a little something fun a oh little, there you go there you go <laughs> a little bit now look after it's a fun game it's a real fun game it definitely is. And I love that more of us are getting into it and kind of bringing our flavor sure. to the green. For sure. So after, you know, two decades in uh, hip hop, you take hip hop, you're taking over social media with a new app, Icon. What is Icon exactly? Yeah. And tell the people how it works. Icon is, is man, it, it's my baby right now. It's just really dope. It's a what it is, it's, a, it's a, a live streaming marketplace is what I like to call it because okay. I allow content creators to uh, monetize their content in a lot of different ways, you know, from getting tips through a platform or, you know, um, charging for, for their live sessions or you can uh, do uh, charitable lives and, you know, give the money to charity or split mm -hmm. the money with charity. You know, all those types of great things. We have, you know, what I call VIP rooms, you know, meet and greets. Mm -hmm. you, you can kind of, you know, book a book an artist to, you know, give the kids a happy birthday shout out or, you know, happy anniversary to the missus or the mister, you know, that type of thing. So it, it's it's a little bit of, of, of everything. And, and it's really cool because, you know, it gives artists that 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 power back, mm -hmm. you know, instead of giving away all your content. Now you have the option to kind of earn off your content. And, and 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 cool cool new ways that get you you know closer to your fans so it's cool so it sounds like cameo but like more advanced would you say what, what are some of the features that make it more advanced or well cam i'm not really sure how cameo works a cameo i think they do video do they do shout videos out. or yeah video like video shout out. outs mm -hmm. yeah we're a live platform streaming okay. platform so if you book somebody for a, a, a meet and greet on icon it would be live so you know you book me book the date 
And I pop right on right here with you, like, hey, Claudia, what up? Ah. <laughs> you know, shoot shit with you for a good five minutes and I'm gone. <laughs> That's kind of more interactive and better than I feel than just a, a, a video, audio, video, whatever. You know, because you can record it and, it and it's saved on your archives as well. So you also have it to keep you know, as your archive video. I like that the artists can profit more because like right now I know the artists are going through with that. I'm making that road money right now. Everything's, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of things um, lined up for Icon, like my Vibes concerts series that I'm going to do is real dope. It's a real intimate, uh, interactive concert that I'm doing. It's like uh, kind of like think of a MTV uh, uh, Unplugged meets like Rhyme of Reason. So you you. You kind of get the, the best of both worlds of what that is. So the, the artist, you take one iconic artist, you take one classic album, and they perform in, with their live band. All of the, you know, those album cuts, those hits, mm -hmm. all for that classic album. And so oh. for the artist, they get to do those records that we never get to perform. Like, you know, we go on stage, it's, it's simple. You know, we do the hits, mm -hmm. do the hits, do the hits, get up out of here, you know, so... For artists, this is like this is like an open canvas, you know, where we get to kind of, you know, paint that whole picture of, of what our body of work is, you know. So I'm a, my first project, I'm a, first one I'm going to do is uh, Vinny Vetti Vici Live, my first album, the whole album from front to back. And then uh, after that, this is the, the best part about Vibes Concerts, after that, that the artist owns that body of work now. Oh. It's a now a live album. Since it's a new recording, it's a new master recording, they own that, and now they can put it out to all the streaming platforms as Vinny Vettivici Live, or whatever the album live, and, and you know, and now they get paid in perpetuity, you know, so it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving when you do the vibes concerts. That's such a good idea, and I love that, you know, you're getting into the, the ownership side of, of tech. We have a comment from Keisha. She says, yeah. uh, Black ownership in tech is merging. We need that black people owning social media. We so do because all the black art, a lot of black, black creators are being shadow banned if they talk about Black Lives Matter or vaccines or whatever they, yeah. they don't want us to talk about. So you over here making your own. So that's dope. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I but you know, I like to talk about that for a minute because mm -hmm. I think I you know for me, I, I don't like to say that we're a black app or a black owned company. We're just okay. a company. You know, yeah. I, I happen to be black <laughs> facts, you know, okay. but you know, we're just a, a dope company. We're just a really dope company We're for the culture and that culture, you know, when we, when we talk about the culture, you know, that's hip hop and it, it, we're a melting pot. You know, everybody is welcome, it, it, you know, in hip hop, you know, so I, you know, I like to, I like to, you know, just think of my company as a great company. Okay. You know, not not a black company, not a whatever company, just a great tech company. And we're doing dope, dope things for the culture. And I happen to be a black guy that owns it. <laughs> I, I, I hear what you're saying, John, but when it makes the Forbes list, we're going to claim you as a black company. OK, we're going to say that. Absolutely. <laughs> OK, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> but let's go back. To we, we're trying to get there. We're trying to get there. <laughs> listen, you, you listen, you've done a whole lot in this in this entertainment industry in in, in the world I, and again we got to give you your flowers and um you know let's go back to the beginning let's take it on back to the beginning in the early 2000s you was ruling hip-hop with hits like holla holla living it up and your collaboration uh like i'm real with j-lo and always on time with ashanti loved it uh mm -hmm. you know y'all had you had the classics like definitely definitely ruled that whole, Thank you. whole era you really did and um How'd you know your voice and style was gonna blend so well with these R and B singers? Because it, like, when we think of hip hop meeting R and B, we think of you. We think of you. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I, you know what's so crazy? This is this is funny that you asked that because the honest, honest answer is the first time I heard my voice on radio. It was like, holy shit, it's like really, really coming through the speakers, like really loud and really strong. And it was almost like scary, almost like, wow, like it's big. And so I started feeling like I needed something to complement that, you know, and, and, and that being a lighter female voice. And, and so that's that's why I kind of like to collaborate with women because I, I feel that 
it's like that. It's like peanut butter and jelly. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's you know we 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 mesh well together because we're such opposites. And so when you blend those two things, it has its own feel. It has its own sound. It has its own vibe. And and it worked to to my to my benefit. But um, that that is the honest answer. You know, when when I heard myself on the radio, I was like, wow. I need something to tone that down a little bit. <laughs> you, you do have a very, yeah, it's very rough in, in New York. And, and yeah, you, yeah. I, can't, I, I can't really hear you think of you doing like a lullaby or reading a, a children's book or nothing <laughs> like that. You ain't doing that. You ain't putting nobody. Oh, no, you, you know, I actually, uh, I did, um, I read The Grinch. And, and, oh, my and, God. And was, yeah. <laughs> do you have it with it's you? A, I don't have it with me, but it's like online. It's a really cool rendition of the Grinch that I, that, 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 and, you know, yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> oh my, I wish we had that to play that right now. <laughs> you read the Grinch. Okay. So basically yeah. you, you just shut me down. You, you, you've done everything. You're doing everything. No, no, no. I wish I could do more voiceovers. That, that is actually something I would love to do. Um, more voiceovers, you know, actually I, I was supposed to do some stuff early, early in my career. I actually um, read the the part to do uh, Huey for um, Boondocks. Really? That that Regina so very well does, you know. Yeah. But I couldn't get my octave low enough to play a kid's voice, and it just didn't work. You know, it just never worked. And and you know, I think they, I think after I was trying it, they said, you know what, a woman's voice might be better to do a kid's voice underneath. I don't know how they, I don't know how they came up with Regina doing it, but it it, it, it definitely is the, the, was the best way to go. <laughs> Cause okay. I, I wish I had, I wish I could still play those. I wish I had those reels of me trying to do it. It was the funniest shit. So did you have to try to make your voice soft? Yes, I was trying you, to make my voice like a kid voice. Like can I hear it? Like, can I hear it? Can I hear it as, as soft as your voice can ever be? Can I, can, can you just say, just hey Claudia, just say something? Hey Claudia, you know, that, that, that's me whispering. Like I, I, I was doing like this weird, like I can't. Even, it was like this weird kid like voice, but it sound it just did it just wasn't right. <laughs> it wasn't right. But you know what? Everything <laughs> happens the way it's supposed to. It's the way it's supposed to happen. Exactly. Speaking of that, I gotta ask you this. Um, you you and Ashanti, musical powerhouse. Yeah. Like let let me talk. Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it's cream, like seriously, yeah, like y'all really, sure. y'all really gelled so so dope together for so long, and and then they said y'all had issues. So what what was going on, and how did y'all squash y'all? We didn't have, we, you know, we didn't have any real issues. We never had any real issues. Our issues are like brother and sister issues that they have, mm-hmm. and a, a, a family spat, and then the next day they cool at the barbecue kicking it you know we 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 never had any real issues ever so things were just overblown because people wanted to make that a thing yeah so bad, it seemed people, like people want to you know people like to blow up everything out of proportion but you know bonnie's my sister man and she, she's great i love her and we we have a great chemistry and we do we do dope shit together hopefully we we do something more down the line, we may we may oh. put something together. We, we've I, been talking about it, but you know we've been we've been dodging each other when it when, when it comes to doing it. We, we just haven't been a chance to, to to get together and do it. So so uh, is it fair to say that there there will be a job? But it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, good. Okay, it's good. Because I loved her verses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah we'll, we'll definitely. Yeah, we'll de- yeah, it was dope, right? It was dope. So dope. And she just, dope I like the way she music. carries herself too. She's. She's fly. So, okay, but before, oh, I don't know if I have time for this, but you, you face a lot of obstacles. We talked a little bit about them, you know, earlier, like during your career, you went to prison and, you know, just mm-hmm. whatever beef. How, how'd you bounce back from that and reinvent yourself? Because some people come out and they don't, they don't get back on like that. And you did. So. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I'm still, I'm, I, I just enjoy being me mm-hmm. through it all. I'm me. You know, through through everything that I've ever been through, I, I've been honestly me, uh, unapologetically me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think when you live your life that way, you you really don't you don't have to look in the mirror and say who's this person. Mm-hmm. You know exactly who this person is. You don't you don't regret the things that you've been through or the things that you've done, and and you move on. 
and, and that's that's kind of what what life is about. And that's just that's just kind of how I flow and, and how I you know move. I have like thirty seconds before the break, but I want to ask you if you have something quick you could say to anyone who's ever like been through the fire, been through a lot, and they're looking for that like they're looking for how do I how do I move on? How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this funk? How do I mentally like get get out of this? What would you say to them? Uh, just don't just don't quit. You know, um, you know, a lot of people talk about the moment that they finally made it was the moment they felt like giving up. Mm -hmm. And that's so true. You know, um, Will Smith talks about it. The greatest things in life are on the other side of fear. You know, Jay talks about it. The, the, the most genius thing that he did was not quit, you know? And, and, and when you hear these things, you know, I know both of them. So, and I, and I know both of their stories. I know what they both been through too. You know, it's so you know, perseverance and resilience is 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 a part of character. You know, and and people that have strong character and strong integrity and strong morals, they usually come up out of things in these situations because God knows you. You know, you 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 favored. You know, you because God knows your heart. He knows, you know, what you what you really about. And and these things, these tough times pass. You know, what they say. You know. Tough times, but I don't know the thing. Tough times last, tough people doing whatever the fuck it is. But you know what I'm saying. That's <laughs> you know a what? great thing. Thanks for that. You know, I think we think it's some deep, crazy answer, but it's just that simple. I think you said it perfectly. People that are watching, just it's that simple. Don't quit. Just keep going. And, just keep and going. Don't, yeah. don't quit watching the show and keep going watching the show because we're going to be back after That's our last right. break with Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Now, Ja, another business you got going on. You're entering into digital <laughs> NFT world and selling art yes. inspired yes. by the Fry Festival. Now, what is NFT currency and what can you tell us about the artwork? What is that? Uh, NFT uh, stands for non-fungible token. And what it is, it's, it's a way to authenticate digital art. Uh, or it can be, it can be the, a lot of things that are digital. Like I also collect the uh, what we are calling now digital cards or what mm -hmm. they would what they would deem digital cards they're called uh moments it's nba top shots mm -hmm. and those are also nfts and they're going for for a lot of money right now and it's really fun to collect but um yeah so i have this great new uh, venture uh with my partners uh tess and james and and you know tess the ceo of the company you know i'm just i'm just you know an, an investor but um it's really, don't, really don't, dope. don't say that. You ain't just the money's the damn near the most yeah, important no, thing no, after no, the no, idea. No, no. Yeah, no, no. I'm also I'm also the A and R. There you go. The company, you I'm know. not gonna let you downplay yeah. yourself. <laughs> okay. So yeah, but but um it's a really dope company. What we do is physical NFTs, which is a, a cool spin on uh, um on um the whole NFT market. Okay. You know, um so the way the way it works is you our digital NFTs are connected to uh, actual physical work. So like my, my fire painting, which just actually just sold for $121,000. Big shout to the uh, lucky uh, owner of the new painting. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so the way it works is you would buy the, the digital NFT and it can be resold. So Claudia, you wanted to buy it for two hundred thousand. You could buy it, and then you could sell it to somebody for three hundred thousand, and then they can say, you know what, I want to hang it on my wall. I want the actual painting. We would then, they would then send us the uh, the token. Hello, I was getting a call. They would then send us the token. We burn it. We send them the physical item, and then they now have it. So, so it, you know, the way we do it is cool. You know, we also do regular nfts all digital that but the sounds... physical nfts i think is a really cool way to to attach you know people's physical artwork to the nft world and, and it's kind of the best of both worlds you got a lot going on and um <laughs> you know I, I like that we got to see a different side i think when you when it was announced you were going to be on here people want to hear the gossip and the beefs and all that kind of stuff and you notice we didn't touch yeah. that. we kept it real positive here there's no people. need to there's a lot going on you no know nah, we mean? good we good before we go we want to get into the film stuff we're doing some film stuff too 
with with <laughs> some of the homies. You know, you know, of course, you know Dutari Turner. You know Dutari, my brother. We, we doing something. Yeah, yeah we are doing something together. You know, that's <laughs> really really dope. Yeah, we got us. We got a strong team with us with this uh, with this project we put together, and it's it's really dope. It's a con- it's a concept that I came up with. Uh, it's called the American Con, and it's fucking dope. The American and we're Con. We're putting it together now. Okay. Yeah, and it's really, really dope. It's it's a uh, it's an anthology, but uh, it's 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 dope. Every I'm season sure, it'll be oh, different. I'm sure it's gonna be fly. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be real fly, and I have lots of. It's gonna be dope. So listen, I know you're. Yeah, big we got we got to get you in there, Claudia. We get you in uh in, in, in the American Con shit. <laughs> oh, well, if you think that'll get approved, then make it happen. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> listen, it's been a pleasure, um, really catching up with you. It really has. I have a director yeah. that wants to get a project to you, so I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna get it to you. But thank you so much, uh, You you've been. It's been oh a for really sure. Fun Thanks for time. having me. Yeah, this has been a great. This has been great. This has been really really dope. I, uh, I'm gonna have to start watching the show now. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't, I haven't been uh, uh up First on of it. all, I'm, I'm getting up on it. So you, you learn something new every day, man. <laughs> I didn't know. You, I didn't know you had the, the vibe like this popping. But this is. This I'm is saying. Dope. Well, I want to thank Jaru really for joining me tonight, and uh, my my girl Ms. Moss for joining us here tonight. Thank you so much for watching for us sure. on the Fox Soul. 